holiday decorations, stringing lights indoors and outdoors. How many accidents occur every year with people up on ladders decorating their house? We all have a ladder that's a little rickety or a little short or we think we can reach it. Just give me that chair. I'll stand on the bike. You know, we look back to 2000 to 2003. 17 and a half thousand people treated in the emergency room for holiday decorating related falls. And 43% of it were caused by falls from ladders. So we need to raise our awareness certainly about falls and promoting some safety practices during the, the holiday season because that's an unintentional fall-related injury that during the holidays can really, really cause problems. You know, how many times do we string seven sets of lights together, and before we know it, we've got 150 feet of Christmas tree lights all plugged into one outlet, and we go to plug it in and we and we blow a fuse. So what what does the genius in us say? Well, let's take that GFI protector out so that we don't blow the fuse, and gee whiz, during the holidays, I'll have my Christmas tree lights on without the breaker going. There's nothing I can think of that would be more devastating to a family than to lose all of your possessions due to a house fire this time of the year. But you know what? It's one of the deadliest times of the year for house fires for a couple of reasons. One, our Christmas trees close to the heat source, and the other would be lighted candles. Crazy. You know, each year, 400 Americans lose their lives from holiday-related fires, and we had more than a 1,000 people injured last year from these holiday-related fires. And those fires cost over $900 million dollars in damages. So it's one of the biggest culprits, and it's that dollar candle that we think is very pretty, and it's lovely the way it flickers, but that candle in a holder that isn't safe, or the dog or the cat, or the flame isn't out when you leave the room, or that open flame is near the Christmas tree. Hey, Christmas trees last year caused 200 separate fires. A lot of these fires could be prevented if you had a fire extinguisher. People who have fire extinguishers don't know if they have the right kind, and furthermore, quite frankly, they don't know how to use it if they need to. Fire extinguishers come in in different categories. It's kind of fun to take that puppy out in the backyard and pull the plug and give it a whirl, because the kids like it. Once a year, at 4th of July, we go out there with the sparklers and what have you, and we have a gas off with our fire extinguishers. It's a fun event. It causes me to make sure my fire extinguishers are in working order, and everybody in my house knows where my fire extinguishers are. If you've ever had a real live fire in your house, and It's a fire that you can't throw water on it, but you need a fire extinguisher. I swear you will never be without a fire extinguisher on every floor or one in your garage. Because once it goes up, oh my gosh, that thing gets out of control in a hurry. Now, almost everybody today throughout their home will have smoke detectors. Great idea. But a smoke detector or a carbon monoxide detector are only as good as the battery. These are the cheapest forms of insurance you can possibly have. Please spend enough time with your entire family to talk about an evacuation plan. What happens if the smoke detector goes off? What should you do? Where are we going to go as a family so that everyone's accounted for? And what a great time to do it, right? Okay, so we got everybody together for the holidays. 
which we're changing our batteries and our smoke detector and our carbon monoxide. We're going to update our personal property video, and we're going to be smarter about putting up and taking down our holiday decorations. Happy holiday, everybody.